Greetings everyone, and welcome to my one-ups and plays of the Civi 11 Massacres Map 15 and Ultra Violence. This map is called The Haunted Mansion, and was made and submitted by Maxwell. Okay, so here we have a very interesting submission. So, in case you didn't know who Civi 11 is, he's a very epic YouTuber, and his Discord had a... Well, they hosted a mapping contest, and they made 20 maps, and this is the result. Each cell leads to a different map, so this one leads to... Uh, scroll faster please, this is map 3, and map 15 was submitted, which is right over here. See, Maxwell, map 15, Haunted Mansion. But yeah, this is really cool especially if you watch cv11 you understand what the hell this is but um this is haunted mansion initially the submission was just haunted mansion dot what but in the end it got submitted for the um, mapping contest as well as you can see cv uh gave this the third choice as best map i guess and then there's also I think there's some kind of scripting awards, like the best scripting. I have no idea, but it's uh, these are all CV references, so that's pretty hacking funny. And the people from Discord thought this was the best map. And I agree, this map is really incredible. You're going to see how, how impressive it is. I mean, just look at the paintings, that says enough. Look at that, that's just comical. And this... Oh Christ. Anyway, let's go to the Haunted Mansion. Alright, so right off the bat, we're gonna fight some lost souls. Let's grab the shotgun to deal with them. So this map has a lot of, like, Disney's Haunted Mansion references. I hope I can get them all. But this map is really fun and... I would dare to say this is one of the best submissions so far out of the almost 60 maps that I received in the last two years. Alright, so we cannot go there. We cannot go here either, so we gotta go through here. And here is another locked door. This is actually the uh, the exit. Not the secret exit. There's no secret exit here. And speaking of secrets, you can lower the bookcase to review an early super shotgun that can help out killing stuff faster. But yeah, look at this. There's so many cute details like the, the fancy revenant up there in the painting. That is so great. Or the imp busts. Oh, I love this map. Or this chair facing the fireplace with a nice drink. And some yummy snacks, like shells, mmm. I can't wait to show off the rest of the map. Anyway, um, this texture is a bit different, there's a red book. Which means this is a secret. And just go where the imp was, to find a secret supercharge. Oh yeah, another sort of effect that I really like is the map briefly lights up because of a thunder strike. I'm not sure if you can see it. I don't know, not sure how often did it just happen? I I blinked. But um You'll see, it's really cool. Oh yeah, this is a spooky map. Which means we're gonna fight spooky enemies. You know, this would have been the perfect map to play on Halloween, but I guess October itself is the spooky month, so I'm not gonna wait that long, because I really want to record this video. Uh, so, yeah, did you see that? Like, there was thunder. Very cool effect. Oh, again. Anyway, we are done with this room, so... Let's return.
And the music is perfect too. Oh yeah, here's the best painting. I really want this as the thumbnail. Like this. This is gonna be the thumbnail. Maybe. We'll see. Just look at that. Just paint the imp like one of those French girls. Very sexy. And here's another cool effect. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's a sinking ship. You see, you've used my imagination for this, but when you grab the chain gun, it lights up and it starts shooting you. That's crazy. And it, that's us. But yeah, really cool. Uh, oh yeah, there's a secret here if you interact with the chain gunner bust. A Megasphere. Which I highly recommend for this room, because this room right here is the most difficult fight of the entire map. Very early on, thankfully, but it is quite tricky. It's just like three waves of enemies that spawn in. But it's especially the, the hit scanners that are annoying. So I tried to kill them first. It starts off with zombie men and then shotgunners. And at some point also like a revenant and stuff. Not necessarily a hit scanner, but still deadly. Oh, and the zombies are ghostly. See that? They uh, they fade out and then they fade in again. It should be in the final wave, the pain elemental, and the revenants. But yeah, look at that. I had a mega sphere, and I lost half of my health and armor. Imagine this without the mega sphere secret. It gets really tricky. Yeah, let's look at those paintings again. We've seen them in the uh, hub level. They're great. Alright. There's a random shotgun there. Let's just kill him. And we are done with the first section. We have a blue key. We can now go through here. And believe it or not, I'm gonna grab the chainsaw because this is GC Doom. It's actually useful here. And... We can also find a secret over here. The wallpaper is slightly different at the top. And there we go, that's a secret. And I believe this thing is the vehicle used in Disney's Haunted Mansion. Uh, Disney Land, Disney World, whatever. I think this is the vehicle. I've been to Disneyland once, but I was like six years old, so I don't remember, but... I remember a vehicle like this, where you sit in and it gives you the Haunted Mansion tour on these little uh, conveyor belts. And I believe they're called the Omni Mover? Omni Movers or something? I only know that because of Buckethead, but... It's cool. Alright. Let's just move on. What else do we have here? Oh yeah, the piano, the haunted piano. I'm gonna show you how much the soul this map has. More ghostly uh, shotgunner, uh, zombie man. Yeah, look at this. The piano is playing by itself. Ooh, spooky. But if you interact with the piano, it also reveals a plasma. Haha. Oh yeah, ghostly imps. I'm not a big fan of these enemies, but I guess it fits the map. Also, you can shoot in that hole for a secret supercharge and a jump scare. Boo! It's the... The... Candle? File? Arch? Candle? I don't know. The arch... The wax file. 
God knows. I don't know. You choose a better name for it, but I think it looks really cool. It's too bad it's not a real enemy, but imagine the work to do all the sprite rotations with this detail. Very cool. Maybe this can be the thumbnail, you know, like a nice clickbaity thumbnail. Look guys, it's a new arch fall, ooh. But no, not really. Alright, we have a bedroom here. There's not much in here other than ammo. And a mirror. There you are. And look guys, it's the exit. Let's go exit the map. Oh no, I got tricked. And that's a very gloomy painting there. Doom guy, that somehow broke the, the noose. Not sure what that's all about, but it's very spooky. Just like this uh, coffin here. It's moving. And the clock, it says 13. But yeah, I'm gonna show you why the chainsaw is used when G's Doom, because you can do this. Oh yeah, there's an imp. Chainsaw and Rectatron. No, that is cursed. Um, right, so... I shouldn't forget... There's a secret over here, but I'm not gonna grab it because it, it makes the map really ugly and it would be a waste because the lighting is really well done in this map and I don't want to ruin it. So I'm not gonna grab this until the very, very, very end. Anyway, here's actually a pretty difficult fight. As you can see, there are some ghosts there, but you cannot shoot them, unfortunately. But uh, I want that invuln. So... Let me through, thank you. Let me just plasma everything. Or almost everything, because I ran out of ammo. But that's okay. So yeah, nice dining room. And up there... You can see two paintings of a zombie man and shotgun are both wearing top hats. There are actually enemies in there, but I think the zombie man died because I see the ammo dropped. But yeah, again, cool paintings. And here the organ is also playing by itself. Ooh. Sp 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 spooky! Alright, so what else do we have? And uh, I don't need shells, so let's just move on. Oh yeah, in this room. Each time you kill, like, the big enemy, one of the curtains open up, revealing more enemies. But, let's have some fun. This is Jeezy Doom after all. We're gonna chainsaw a Mancubus. Look at that. Ooh, nearly got attacked there. But yeah, I can see how... People who are used to GC Doom are asking me all the time, why don't you use the chainsaw? It's actually good. It is, if the hit detection works. But in classic Doom it doesn't, because it's broken. Thankfully GC Doom fixes that. Um, so here we're gonna have another big fight. Then I should use the plasma. I think when the Mancubus dies, the next curtain opens up. Oh, it's not a curtain, it's a wall. Yeah, here they are. Let's make them infight a tiny bit. And here, I think the Erectotrons must be killed for the wall to open up here. And I gotta save some plasma for that because there's gonna be an archfall behind that wall, so... Gotta be careful. Oh, yep. Yeah. Here he is. Here he is. Plasma. 
And that's how you deal with the arch foul, and then you just rocket the rest. That was a very high damage roll, but I don't really care because there's a mega armor here and a supercharge. So there we go. Fully stacked. Let's grab the remaining goodies and move on to the next area where it's gonna get very, very, very weird. And you'll see. Okay, again, I shouldn't forget about this later. But right now, I don't want to ruin the map's uh, atmosphere for two minutes, so... Yeah, this is the Omni Mover Assistance. I think this is what they're called, but I'm not sure. Something with Omni Mover. Anyway, with the red key, this area gets unlocked, and this is where it gets very weird. If you look closely, you can see ourselves in the front. But look, it's an infinite tunnel now. Spooky. And now we're back here. This is where there was... Um, here we found the um, secret megastar, remember? And now we're back here. So this is very strange how this loops back. Very uh, non-Euclidean uh, stuff going on. This eye opens something. I think it opens up this. Now, this room with this dog, which doesn't do anything, but I think this is a pirate's... Uh, you know the pirate's attraction? The pirates of the Caribbean? Where they... Uh, the dog holds uh, a bundle of keys in its mouth and then the people are trying to lure the dog with a, with a bone. I think this is a little reference to it. That's what I think at least. Uh, let me see. Some doors can be opened from the beginning. Like for some reason there's a Nazi in here. This one has a skeleton in the closet. And there's another one with an eye. And this one. This one kills you, so don't go in. It's just there, I don't know, for fun? Ah, uh, there's so many doors. Uh... Oh yeah. This one has some cacos. I noticed a bit of a... I'm not sure if it's a bug or an oversight, but enemies don't attack you if you're in a different area. And also sound stop playing, so I'm gonna show you this projectile. Not gonna make a sound. See? And Kakurimans cannot see me here, but I can shoot them. So you can uh, kind of exploit that if you want. I guess it's a... Uh, I'm not sure what they're called, like... Portals? I guess that's a bit of an uh, limitation of portals. Um, so let me see, what did I open up? Oh yeah, this. Yeah, see, this imp doesn't see me. Yeah, it's a weird oversight or limitation, but... It doesn't really hurt the map. Some more ghostly Hell Knights. And there's another one behind these trees. He's easy to miss because he, he's kind of stuck here. And he's ghostly, so you can't really see him until he attacks. Alright, now we're back here. And now we need to find two switches to open up these bars. So, the first one over here. I want those Mancubi to shoot. They're gonna infight with hopefully the Hell Knights, and they didn't. At least not all of them, so screw it. Let's just do it the old fashioned way and shoot enemies ourselves. How the hell did you get up here? What the hell? And be wary, this wall view of shotgunners, but 
Just a heads up. So there's another similar hallway like this, except this one has armor bonuses. So let's take a look. Yeah, this one. Brings us to the other side, where we killed the Mankibai. Alright. So with those two switches pressed, we have lowered the gate. Wherever it is, this one. Wait, it was a Baron. A spooky Baron. Alright. I think we are done. There's a secret Megasphere here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure when it reviews itself, but it's here. Let's grab some shells, because why the hell not? And there should be... Oh yeah, the Armory. This is another cool room. And again, one you can exploit, because... Well, souls cannot see you here. And if you notice... Lost Souls, when they stop seeing you, they go, like, to the opposite side of the room. Because this room actually takes place elsewhere than this hallway. And enemies always go to your direction. I can kind of show it on the other map. But this is the hallway. This is the armory. As you can see, the armory is west of this hallway, so Lost Souls will go east, I guess? To try to get close to me, but... It's interesting. Very surreal. Alright, so here's the armory. Here's some more stuff to look at. And also a hidden switch. Which reveals the freaking BFG, but it's not very useful. And I'll show you in a moment why. But what is fun are the weapons on the table. So here, if you can see it. There's like a sword. And here as well. And there's a battle axe here. More swords, another battle axe, very cool. Hey, I see myself, look at that. <laughs> Alright, um, I think that's all the doors, so now we gotta find this one. And now we're back in the room with the organ. See, that's what the zombie men wear with the top hats. Oh yeah, here's another bizarre looking area. You fall here, you die by the way, so I don't want to get pushed off by the lost souls. Come here, I see you. Yeah, look at this, this is bizarre. And here's another strange thing. It's very confusing. Oh, really cool. Alright, here is the BFG, and that's the reason why I said the BFG secret wasn't very useful. Unless you want to use it against some imps and lost souls. But look, it's the Nightmare Cyber Demon. I don't think he actually is any different from a regular Cyber Demon, but he looks, uh, he looks pretty cool. Oh, whoops. The moment I let go of my uh, movement key, he, of course, spawns uh, in front of me. But that's okay. This area has not one, but two Megaspheres. So let's just... Uh, let's just grab the Supercharge. And let's take down the pesky Cyberdemon. The Nightmare Cyberdemon. Let's see. I want him to spawn... At the green torches. Spawn, please. I'm not sure how the spawning pattern works. By the way, if you're having trouble with the Cyber Demon, there's always an Invuln. But I'm not gonna grab it, because it makes the map ugly. And I'm about to die. That's not good. Should be uh, more careful. But look, Megasphere. Nothing to worry about. All according to plan. 
All right, Cyber Demon. Where are you now? It's time for you to die. What are you doing there? Okay, here. Let's go. And die. Yeah, I kind of promised myself not to use the info here because again, it makes the map ugly. Well, that's not the real reason. This is more exciting, I think. Although I would have been pissed if I died. I was a bit uh, too careless. I'll admit that. But yeah, we're now in the attic. There are some stuff in here, like archfall, paintings, atlas imps. And let me see, some furniture, whatever this is. A cake? Looks like a cake. A cannon? I'm using my imagination here. Barrels, barrel with gold. Treasure chest, that's for sure a treasure chest. More paintings. I told you, the attention to detail in this map is insane. Instruments, another artful painting with the headless cyber demon. Anyway, oh, and um, the artful bride, look at that. <laughs> but yeah, this is a secret, which again, I will skip. Oh, and look, it's the the headbox ghost. Even animated, look at that. That's a classic. That is great. But yeah, I'm not gonna grab any of that yet. Because I don't want the blur, sir. I don't want the light goggles. I don't want Invon. I'll uh, grab it later. And the supercharge is also a secret. Again, I don't really need it right now, so I'm gonna save it for emergencies, but... We're now in the graveyard area. I'm just gonna run. Blood the BFG to kill some Mankibai. And most importantly, the pain elementals. And that was a bit overkill, but that's okay. Arachnotrons. There's also an archer around the corner. Let's see what he's up to. Hello! Bye! Okay, so for this next section, I think I'm just gonna keep running, except kill this Mancubus, and also the chain gun in the distance. There's actually an archer in there too. Oh! Okay. I got tricked by the pinkies. Thankfully, there is a secret Megasphere. Man, I have a lot of near-death experience in this map. I think I'm being a bit too careless. I mean, this map is not that difficult. And I didn't even kill the Archfall. What in the heck? Die. Alright. Anyway, like I said, let's just keep running. Ignore all the enemies here. And check out this tomb. And look, more ghosts wearing top hats. Maybe this could be the thumbnail. I don't know. It's gonna be really difficult to choose a good thumbnail for this map because there's just so much stuff that I want to put in the thumbnail. There's so many cool little details that I just absolutely love. Oh yeah, and there's uh, an icon of sin here. I don't know why, but it kind of ruins getting 100% kills. Anyway, we're also gonna face a freaking spider mama. Which you can easily one hit kill in GZ Doom, thank god. And now for these two cyber demons. And die. And we can two shot kill this one I guess. Or maybe not. No, well. 
three then. Okay, so we're not gonna bother killing all these enemies, because in GC Doom, enemies spawn by Icon of Sin count towards the kill count, so that's that sucks and there's no way to turn it off, so 100% kills is kinda impossible. So I'll just kill all the enemies that were placed by the map maker. And they are all in the graveyard uh, area, so let's just use the BFG for everything. Also you. Maybe save some BFG for the final enemies in the other area. Yeah, that icon of sin is really... was not a good idea. That's the only thing I don't like about this map, but... It's a very, 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 very minor thing. I mean, the rest of the map is incredible. There's so much soul in this map, it's... it's, it's crazy. Alright, so I think we killed everything so far. That was placed by Maxwell. Oh, I didn't see this bust. It's decapitated uh, Doom guy. Alright, so as promised, now it's time to grab all the secrets. Look, it's the Marine's best friend. Uh, not going through there. There's the Invuln. Or actually, no, I'm just gonna grab the Posh on his ability, and that's it. So, thank you, uh... Headbox ghost or box head ghost? I th I don't know. It's another thing I only know because of Buckethead, because he loves Disney and all his songs reference stuff from Disney uh, Land or World. And oh yeah, the final secret that I skipped the the light goggles were they here? I don't remember. Yeah, they were here. So that's the final secret. Look how ugly the map becomes. It's a waste if you uh, have this power up. Okay, we shouldn't go there. We go over here. And there's one enemy left. Spooky zombie man. And that's all the kills pretty much. I can do like a double check if I do IDDT. Uh, green arrows are enemies that are alive. Well, there, there's one here, but that's the dog in the uh, Caribbean right part with the jails and the bone and the prisoners. This green arrow is also a dog that is not really an enemy to kill. And all these enemies are Icon of Sin enemies that, well, there's no way to kill them and then exit them up. So that's all the kills, so let's get out of here. And that's a great intermission sc screen. Um, and of course, this song, very um, classic. Everyone knows this song because of uh, City, or a lot of people do. But yeah, uh, that was the haunted mansion. Let's go back to the dungeon because I want to show off one more room. And this is the credits room. So this is uh, Maxwell. Prolapse when, Civi? Haha, <laughs> no, don't put that as the quotes. Let me come up with a real one. <laughs> but yeah, all these people worked on the, on the what. I checked out some of the maps. Some look like really incredible. Also, uh, this is really cheesy. Special thanks to you, ho ho. But yeah, um, I think I praised them up enough. This is one of the best submissions I've ever received. And initially, like I said, it was a um, haunted mansion dot what, but then uh, it got added to the CV massacre what. But yeah, the haunted mansion, incredible amount of soul, passion. It was. So much fun to play it for the first time. I'm pretty sure Maxwell was in the Discord when I did the, the blind playthrough. And during the blind run, I also just 
couldn't stop praising it. It was so fun. Finding all the secrets and all the, the Haunted Mansion from Disney World, all those references. It was uh, an absolutely thrill of a ride. And um, yeah, Maxwell, I don't know if you made any other maps, but I'm curious what other maps you made and how creative those are, because that was really enjoyable. And yeah, you must really play this. Like, people, if you're watching this, get yourself GC Doom, download the what in the description, and just check out all 20 maps in this uh, CV Mask or what, because this is quite a special project. What is this? Huh. But yeah, go check it out. Look at this, this is so bizarre. So many different styles. I love it. What the hell is this? Oh, Terry. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to have Terry's in my video. But yeah, um, that's all. Thank you very much, Maxwell. This was a really, really amazing submission. Thank you so much for it. Nothing but praise. And I really had a good time. This was really incredible. And uh, again, go check it out. It's good. It's really good. It's very, um, very creative. And yeah, that's all. Uh, a bit early for a Halloween video, but it just had to be played. And uh, I guess October is the spooktober month, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Enjoy your Saturday. And we're almost done with submissions. Only two maps left. And then we're going to start a round four. So you should probably get ready with um, finishing up or wrapping up your map or choosing a map because the fourth round may open up pretty soon. So that's all. See you guys and have a nice evening.